situation report day six and uh, approaching country number six which is slovakia um, of course you know in 1993 um, czech republic which i'm living behind split up with um, slovakia republic of Slo slovakia which i'm approaching in 2.7 kilometers the highway is by my right hand side by my left hand side sorry and um, i just took off course so i can drive inland to see what the border crossing between both countries look like perhaps it's gonna be a landmark perhaps not but yeah stick around we'll find out in 400 meters 300 now um, we'll be driving inside slovakia and um, i can see a river dividing okay um i see sort of a border i uh, wish we could just drive inside and there's a river I'm not sure the name of this river dividing czech republic and slovakia all right let's have a look this is um obviously the simplest border i've ever crossed so far yes let's go check it out i miss filming with a double view camera <laughs> but i'm bringing it back to life there's a camp there's a camping down there but cars are not allowed i don't want to break any rules and fall into trouble breaking any rule and falling into trouble might be the end of my trip so far and we still have a long way to go but yeah this looks like the physical landmark that is um, dividing the both countries I would in my geographical knowledge of Europe so far believe this is a branch of the Danube River that is running all the way from Romania or running across Romania um, Bulgaria down to Czech Republic even to Slovakia right now I would believe this is Danube River Perhaps I might be wrong. Bye, Chris, and bye, Jan. Peace. I'm on this bridge that divides <laughs> Czech Republic and Slovakia. And the river over there, I believe, is uh, Danube River. My, I might be wrong. You never know. And right now, I just crossed over from Czech Republic into Slovakia. And I'm going to do the same thing right so walking to czech republic like nothing happened yes and over here if i go right around the corner to the left i will perhaps be walking into slovenia imagine if i was on a flying van i would not be seeing this would i you know the physical borders the division the land division that separates people and over here it says welcome to slovenia slovensko rad sorry slovakia we are going into slovakia not slovenia slovenia will be a bit later but i really don't quite get why Slovakia is written as Slovensko. That confused people a lot. And right over here, the breakdown of Austro-Hungarian Empire and the formation of um, um, Czechoslovakia, Czech Republic and Slovakia. Czech Republic over there. I just left Bruno driving. And now we are in Slovenska Republika, the Republic of Slovakia. here all right fellas i'm gonna continue on the trip of course you know see you when i see you yo just arrived in bratislava the capital of slovakia where i'm planning to have a rest for two hours until the seventh country in day number six. Um, how do I feel?
still quite energetic it's just two hours drive from Czech Republic where I had a race in four wheels last night and but first I want to see if I can grab a quick lunch let me see what I have in my refrigerator yes, I'm just gonna oh the water is so cool yeah the way I need it drink some water and this is going down this bad guy is going down People will think I'm crazy. <laughs> when you find your passion, that thing that makes your heart beat. And follow your heart, you will understand. I've had this guy since Poland. So, before he goes bad, I will do some justice. I'm gonna grab some paper bag to deal with the mess that comes with mangoes. It was very tricky, it was very tricky. Driving into Slovakia. Before you get your GPS adjusted, your GPS adjusted, you are already off track. Already off track. Off track. Like twice. Off track. Like twice. People walk past me, and they're like, "Are you crazy? I'm just eating mango." Of course, they don't ask me if I'm crazy, but they just look at me. They see me coming from this way. And when they walk past, they kind of turn back to look again. Yeah, of course, you can look at me. Didn't hurt anyone. I just had a snack, a mango snack. But the way people were staring at me, like, it's so unusual. But who cares? I only had a snack. Bye. There's a local Tesco here, so I would like to replenish some of my stock. Um, my grab and bite apples are finished. Um, my water is remaining one uh, two liter can. And uh, of course, some ice blocks. The ice blocks that power up my fridge. Israel. What's, what's really? Israel. I can't smell this mango, so they don't have any nectar in them. If you want to know how juicy a mango is, or how juicy a mango would be, just smell them. If it smells a bit like pineapples, then you know that they have some nectar in them. Or if not, then probably you might want to think twice. So right now, on the hunt for ice cubes so I can power up my fridge once more and a few other things before I set going Bratislava not exploring but just quick fast as you know and basically this is it um, all my water supplies fruits vegetables some Red Bull you can see all in the fridge for the next I would say 48 hours these are very thick blocks they're not gonna melt anytime soon but yeah that's my fridge that's how I survive on this journey when I want something cool and refreshing I refer to my fridge powered by ice blocks situation report fellas um, 
<clears throat> the plan unfortunately was not to tour Bratislava it's a beautiful city capital of course you know of um, Slovakia the plan is to keep driving until the next country and um, been surviving on this for now so I got some replenishments which means that I might be cooking tonight and um, yeah stay tuned until the next country next expedition Red Bull of course but this time doesn't give you wings but keeps you awake Just got four wheel all fed up, uh, fed him with what he eats. Of course, you know the hot water for the moving van. And now I'm next to the, I'm off to the next adventure. Uh, see you when I get there. All right, peeps. Um, situation report: the petrol in Slovakia is different. I've never bought petrol that gives me more than 660 kilometers range but I just got petrol right now as you saw two minutes ago in the video and it's giving me a range of 700 that's way impressive for a traveler on road where you know petrol takes much of the resources you have this is a fantastic news driving into Hungary all the way from Slovakia um, the language here is complicated <laughs> it doesn't look like or have any resemblance of Slavic languages that I understand so I guess it's gonna be a tough time understanding some Hungarian language along the way but just coming from Slovakia I can tell you that um, um, Slavic or Soviet architecture is very far away from what I saw in uh, Slovakia the, the Soviets didn't really um, do much of an impact in uh, their architecture the Soviets um, during their time or during the Soviet Union in invested heavily only in the Baltic area uh, in terms of uh, infrastructure yeah so off to the next city until I dock my tent give four wheels a much deserved rest see you when I see you 